Hi there, wig lover. This is Heather from SisterWigs.com, and today I'm bringing you a review of a brand new Envy wig called Jade. And this wig comes in a large cap size, and the large cap is quite generous on this. So let's let's have a come to Jesus moment for a second before I, I get any further into this. I'm actually going to zoom the camera in a bit. Okay, so. Let's talk about how this wig came right out of the box. It didn't come with a part at all. It was all just brushed straight up, which makes this look like Valley of the Dolls hair. <laughs> um, I also think that this lace front, it's not my favorite thing in the universe. It's not bad, I mean, it's it's adequately dense. I will definitely say that. It is certainly adequately dense. In fact, in my opinion, it's almost a little bit too dense. Um, when you get a lace front, you don't want it to just look like it's a continuation of the monofilament top. You, so I think that whoever buys this might want to do two things. I'm trying to like make it show up as two fingers, but it didn't really turn out too well. But you're going to want to try to do two things. Um, first thing you're going to want to do is probably trim this lace just a smidge so that it goes right up to that hairline though that's not a requirement as you can see it once you press it down it blends in pretty well so you don't really have to do that though I technically would if I were buying this wig the other thing you may want to do is either retrain the hair to go down a little bit over the lace front to look a little bit more natural or you may want to actually modify the lace front by trimming out some of these hairs you can do that by plucking them um, you have to do it in a very ginger fashion. As you can see, they've got knots. So what you want to do when you're plucking them is just take your tweezers and kind of undo the knot um, as, as best as you can, and then pull the hair out. So that way you don't actually fray or damage the lace while you're doing that. So let's zoom back out. I'll get the hang of this camera eventually. So the first thing I'm gonna do, I haven't brushed this hair. I haven't done anything to it. Um, so right now I've got my handy wig-friendly loop ended wig brush and I'm going to put a part into it. Um, it's got a lot of body up here. It's It does have a permatized cap so it's got a ton of volume. So the first thing I'm going to do is try to put a part in it. So that way maybe it looks just a little less Patty Duke. <laughs> not that there's anything wrong with Patty Duke, but uh, if you're not really going for a vintage look, this wig will require a little bit of styling and a little bit of TLC right up front. But as you can see, it's already starting to look a little bit better, and all I did was put a part in it. So, let me go ahead and fluff it a little bit now that I've brushed it out a tad. But I, because this wig looks so, you know, Barbie dream house when I first put it on, I wanted to show you what it looked like before I brushed it. So that way, when you buy this and you take it home and you put it on, you're not like, oh, this looks so much different than how it looked on Heather. Um, and I want you to see exactly what I do to make it look a little bit more natural. So that's all I did. I think this looks way better this way. Um, so you just have to muss it up a little bit, fuss with it a bit, bring out the most in those curls. And I, and I know the routine with this because I have naturally curly hair. Um, so when my hair was longer, I would, I would constantly have to, to fuss with it and fight it to get it um, into place. This by comparison is much easier to deal with because synthetic hair is just nowhere near as hard to deal with than, you know, bio hair that you've slept in all night that's all matted in the back. <laughs> so, here we go. Let's start this over again. Take two. This is Jade by uh, Envy. Make sure this is zoomed all the way out. Okay. And the color on this wig is called Chocolate Caramel. Let's see if that'll show up. There we go. And this is a really pretty color. Let me get it in the sunshine so you can see it a bit. 
I've seen, I, I did review a short wig. It was Chris. I reviewed a Chris by Envy in this color. Um, and as you can see, it presents a little bit differently in the slightly longer styles. The highlights um, are a little bit more pronounced in the longer styles. And you can see right there that it is a, uh, a blended highlight that has um, a little bit of butterscotch blonde as well as um, a light brown, like the, the more red of the Envy light brown shades. So technically it's a light brown highlight on the dark brown base. So very, very pretty color. I know that when Cynthia was doing wig reviews, this is one of her favorite of the Envy colors to review. It's, it's a really pretty color, so I thought it would be really nice to try um, Jade in this shade. So this is a very pretty curl pattern. It's very unique. Um, the curls actually start roughly uh, around mid cheek level on me. And I like this layer right here on the side, how that frames the face. I think that's really, really nice. And that's going to be very flattering on, especially if you've got one of two things going on. If you've got a really angular jaw that you need to soften, this style will be great for that. Um, and likewise, if you have a very soft jaw, like what I have, this will be very nice to help frame that and kind of slim you out a little bit. So very, very pretty, as you can tell from the side. The curls on Jade are huge. Very, very big, voluminous curls. And you can play with that even more if you want to make it look a little bit more like the manufacturer photo, which the wig in the manufacturer photo obviously has been styled. It's been played with extensively to get it to look like that. I've done very minimal styling to this, um, and I wanted to make sure I did it all on camera so you could see what I did. So it's very pretty, and the curl pattern is really relaxed. Here's the back. You get very nice movement on this one. And the layering back here is very pretty. The length is also really nice on this wig. Um, on me, it's just at the shoulders. So if you're looking for um, a mid-length cut that is flattering and has a little bit of a curl, but won't break the bank and has plenty of volume, here you go. This is a real treat for people who have a large head because it is a large cap size. Though I will say, for the record, that um, there are some other caps from other brands that are actually roomier than this, even though they're average sizes. So that's why it's so important you know, that I do these reviews, I think. So that way I can tell people exactly how things fit on. For instance, um, I recently reviewed two Aesthetica wigs, Linda and um, Kira. And those are both average cap wigs, and the caps are larger than this large cap wig. They're huge. Um, but yeah, this, this wig is very accommodating. I mean, look at how much stretch. That's a ton of stretch. Again, I can fit my whole hand in here. So it's definitely going to be really comfortable for people with large heads. And even though it's a large cap size, don't assume that it's gonna have built-in sideburns. I get emails from people all the time um, commenting about if it's normal to not get complete coverage on the sides. That is completely normal. Not only is it normal, but it should kind of be expected. Women's wigs don't come with sideburns built in, and this one's no exception. So even though you're, it's large, and even though it's got a little bit more coverage here on the side, it will not cover completely. So make, make sure you take a note of that. Sorry, my cat is playing with a Tweety toy. Make sure you make a note of that when you are choosing which color to buy. I always recommend picking one that's either rooted in the shade of your bio hair or very close to your bio hair overall. So, and then here's this side. Now because it's got a permatease top, you can basically perm it, um, you can um, part it in any direction you want. Um, though I always recommend staying away from center parts if you have a uh, permatease cap. So, I love I love the way the wig, this wig feels when I shake it like this. <laughs> it's just got such a neat body to it. It's just, it's, it's, it's a fun wig. It looked kind of scary <laughs> when I first took it out of the box. Not gonna lie. And that's why I wanted to show you exactly 
what it looked like when I first put it on because it was all combed back. It looked like a bouffant. It was kind of like, oh, whoa, hey. I actually think it looks really cute now that it's settled just a little bit. You've seen it all here on camera. Now that it's settled a bit and I've brushed it and I fluffed it up on the bottom a little bit, I think this one's really cute. Um, the front is eight inches. The layer from the crown down is also eight inches. So that just means it's evenly cut all the way around here on the top layer. The sides are seven and a half and the nape is also seven and a half. So this is a very symmetrically cut sort of style. So now I'm gonna take the cap off so you can see what the construction looks like. So the cap on Jade is large. It is a large cap and it stretches a fair amount. It is adjustable much like a bra strap here in the back. And there's that tag. Here's that lace front. And one thing I will say about the Envy lace fronts, and I, and I wouldn't be fair to you if I didn't mention it. One thing about some of the hand tied elements of some of the Envy wigs is that some are done better than others. I actually think that the knots on the lace front of this wig are kind of big. They're kind of big. It's not a deal breaker because this isn't a hand tied cap. The lace, the hand tied portion of this wig is really minute. And in my estimation, it's very easy to tweak this in a fashion that will look a little bit better. Um, and the reason why this happens is because whoever's tying the knots just tied them too big. Probably just used the wrong knot pattern or something. Um, I don't think it's a deal breaker. As you can see, I zoomed right in on the lace front on. So if you thought that that looked okay, you're not going to have a problem with it. The only reason why I'm mentioning it at all is because some people are very, 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 very particular <laughs> about their knots. They're really particular about it. And if you're one of those people, I wanted to make sure you knew about this. Um, but if you're not, and having a lace front is basically just the icing on the cake, there's, this is totally passable. Um, and you know, I would wear this out in public. Um, so it, it's just a matter of preference. Okay. So here is the top portion and where all this lace is, that's where the permatease is. So this wig has a ton, 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 ton of permatease in it. Just a lot of permatease. So this is not only a great wig because of the permatease and because of the volume and the large cap, this isn't just a great wig for women that have large heads. This is a fabulous transgender wig because I know that I have some transgender clients and you know, I'm always trying to look out for things that might appeal to them. This was made basically specifically for that market. They're never gonna say that in the literature, but everything about this from, from the Patty Duke presentation when you pull it out of the box to the way that the curls sit, I mean, it's just made to be very feminine and to accommodate somebody who might be looking for something like that. Um, and it will work for both markets. This will work for somebody who is female or someone who's transitioning or has transitioned. So, and I hope that my female clients aren't put off by me saying that. They're, they're, it takes all kinds and you know, lots of people wear wigs for lots of different reasons. And that's just one group of people who needs hair. <laughs> and you know, I don't hate, you know, I, uh, if, if, just like it says on my website, if you love wigs, I love you. We'll, we'll immediately be friends. We'll immediately have something to talk about. So let me go ahead and put this back on. Look, look how big this cap is, how open that is. And it, it's a snap to put on. So here, I'll go ahead and do that right now. Just boom. Just make sure you line that up. And you will probably have to reinforce the part. But you'll only have to do that for about a week or so before it'll just automatically go into place. And if you want to um, kind of fast track that training process, just soak it in water overnight. And, um, you know, 
part it where you want it and when it dries it should stay there and then there's that lace front on again right there in that real bright sunlight so you can see like I said to me this is not a deal breaker at all um, so I don't want you to get that impression by me mentioning it, but I definitely wanted to mention it if you happen to be one of those people that's super, super particular about the knotting on your lace fronts. Um, I like this wig. I think it's really cute. I love going like this with the hair. I just think that that's a lot of fun to swish around because all the curls just go womp, 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 like a washing machine. It's kind of fun. <laughs> I'm easily amused apparently. Um, so this has been Jade, the large capped new style by Envy in the color chocolate caramel. So thanks for watching and if you have any questions leave them in the comment section and I'll get back to you. So uh, until later, bye bye.